Welcome to T's exam practice test. Our topic today is biology and genetics. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following is known as the idea that an organism can change over time? A. Artificial selection. B. Natural selection. C. Evolution. D. Use and disuse. The correct answer is C. Evolution. Explanation. Evolution by definition is the change over time. This is not to be confused with the next closest choice of natural selection. Natural selection is the way that nature will select out those organisms that are best suited to their environment. Number 2. Who is the scientist known as the father of genetics? A. Charles Darwin. B. Thomas Malthus. C. Barbara McClintock. D. Gregor Mendel. The correct answer is D. Gregor Mendel. Explanation. Gregor Mendel is known for his famous pea plant experiments and research in genetics. He defined the way that we look at basic genetic inheritance. His research helped create an understanding of basic inheritance, dominance and recessive traits. Number 3. A carrier of a genetic disease is most likely to have which genetic makeup? A. Homozygous dominant genotype. B. Heterozygous genotype. C. Homozygous recessive genotype. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Heterozygous genotype. Explanation. Heterozygous genotype is the genotype that would most likely make up a carrier of a genetic disease. The vast majority of genetic diseases are autosomal recessive, which means to be affected, you must be totally recessive. A carrier has one of each gene. Number 4. What is the name of the two-word naming system used by scientists? A. Binomial nomenclature. B. Binomial naming. C. Binary nomenclature. D. Binary fission. The correct answer is A. Binomial nomenclature. Explanation. The two-word naming system used by scientists is known as binomial nomenclature. In the system two Latin names are used to identify the genus and species name of an organism. The system was designed to create a scientific name that all scientists could agree on. Number 5. What do an animal with the name Lynx rufus and another with the name Lynx canadensis have in common? A. They are from the same kingdom. B. They are from the same phylum. C. They are from the same genus. D. They are from the same species. The correct answer is C. They are from the same genus. Explanation. Binomial nomenclature uses the genus and species names only. The first word in this system is always the genus name. The second word is always the species name. They belong to the same genus. Number 6. What is the correct order of the classification system of organisms from smallest to largest? A. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. B. Phylum, kingdom, class, family, order, genus, and species. C. Species, genus, family, class, order, phylum, and kingdom. D. Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, and kingdom. The correct answer is D. Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, and kingdom. Explanation. The correct sequence from smallest to largest is species through to kingdom. Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, and kingdom. Number 7. Who is responsible for the current naming system of organisms? A. Linoz. B. Lyle. C. Lamarck. D. Linus. The correct answer is A. Linoz. Explanation. Carolus Linoz came up with the system of naming that we use today known as binomial nomenclature. This system uses Latin and a two-word naming system. He used this system to prevent any confusion when naming organisms. Number 8. Which of the following is known as the part of an animal cell that creates energy? A. Mitochondria. B. Chloroplast. C. Golgi body. D. Nucleus.
The correct answer is A. Mitochondria. Explanation. The mitochondria are responsible for energy production in an animal cell. The chloroplus does help to produce energy, but in plants only. Number 9. A farmer breeding tomato plants for larger fruit is an example of A. Natural selection. B. Selective breeding. C. Captive breeding. D. Artificial breeding. The correct answer is B. Selective breeding. Explanation. Selective breeding is the process by which organisms are chosen for their specific traits or characteristics. They are intentionally bred in order to produce desirable traits. Number 10. Which of the following organisms has a true nucleus? A. Bacteria. B. Prokaryote. C. Archibacteria. D. Eukaryote. The correct answer is D. Eukaryote. Explanation. An eukaryote is an organism that has membrane-bound organelles and a true nucleus. Eukaryotes are usually very complex and require the presence of a nucleus to hold their vast amounts of genetic material. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.